Hello everybody, this is Justin from KQS, and today I'm reviewing Dynasty Warriors Next. Um, if you've played one Dynasty Warriors game, you're always gonna know the story. Because it's based on the Three Kingdoms era, a actual time period in Chinese history. And you will be choosing one of the Wei, Wu, and Shu armies trying to unite the land. The graphics actually look great for a portable. You really can't call it HD because of the screen, but it looks a lot like Dynasty Warrior 7 and is just as smooth. One of the coolest things is the resizable map, which you can simply do by swiping diagonally. The music a lot is from Dynasty Warrior 7, and it's the great music you know and love. And the voice acting is pretty good with all the great DW7 actors returning. Dynasty Warriors Next mixes gameplay from many of the previous Dynasty Warriors titles and it works perfectly for a portable. It brings back the original item system, which I miss so much. The game has conquest mode and literally is Dynasty Warriors Empires. They even actually brought back the edit mode from Dynasty Warriors 4, so it pretty much brought back everything that got Dynasty Warriors players into this game. Well, with the exception of Bodyguard, so this game isn't totally perfect. Since it is a launch game, it's more focused on using all the Vita has to offer, so I expect some minigames using the touchscreen and accelerometer. One main minigame that you will always be experiencing will be the Infinity Blade style boss fights, but it's not a total ripoff, it actually is a little bit better. It is alright, but it can get boring and tough after a while. The game still controls pretty great, and one thing I really liked is when capturing bases, that each base has its own certain properties. Like capturing the sword base will give you a two times attack power up, and the meat bun base will give you a little bit of health. One really different strange thing they did is levels are done once you capture the enemy's main base, and not by killing the main officer. And one thing I really didn't like which was the health system. It uses regenerating health rather than an actual health bar and I personally don't think it belongs in a Dynasty Warriors game. This game basically has two game modes of play, story and conquest. Both use the same empire style of conquering the land. The story is pretty interesting because this time you don't choose a faction right away. You actually play in stages this time and whether you play as the Wei, Wu, or Shu actually is not your choice. But the other mode which is conquest and it's a blast. You can actually use your custom character this time, and conquering the whole area is a lot of fun. It's actually perfect for on-the-go play. Play a quick level and put it back in your pocket. And if you leave Wi-Fi on, you'll actually meet some players along the way. Though they actually do have a local multiplayer called Coalition Mode, I haven't been able to test it, but it actually sounds like a lot of fun. Just imagine playing the missions locally with up to four players, and murdering everything in sight. Lastly, it has a little bit of extra features with the camera, which actually lets you take a picture with your favorite Dynasty Warriors character. And there are some calligraphy and other touch mini games, but like the main touchscreen elements, they kind of get tiresome after a while. The last time I played a Dynasty Warriors game on Sony's portable was a nightmare. The levels were not open ended. You were essentially capturing zone after zone that was barely bigger than a base. It really did not feel like Dynasty Warriors at all. But now, with stronger hardware, you can finally have the true Dynasty Warriors on the go. And it actually brought back many of the things that people missed in the previous games. Yes, since it is a launch title, it uses a lot of the touchscreen minigames, which are kind of gimmicks, but it is a good start in the right direction. Even though this time the game has a lot less replay value than the other Dynasty Warriors games. I do recommend this, though it's not exactly for everybody. Though I have to admit the slight price drop might actually persuade you. Okay, that's the end of the review. Hope you all enjoyed it. Just thumbs up and subscribe for more reviews to come. This is Justin from KQS and uh, until we meet again comrades.